So a few months ago, I actually posted a video on uh, collecting pollen and it was spring and I was still learning things and doing things and I had just put the pollen traps on and I actually thought they were kind of good at that time. So I wanted to give a quick little follow up. So, so it is now September and we put the pollen traps back on. Uh, we use the Sundance pollen trap. Uh, I'll put a link below in the description. Uh, but we buy the bottom mount Sundance pollen trap. And we really put these on. Right now we have two of the pollen traps because that's, I think, really what I need. And honestly, what I can afford at their cost, they're, they're fairly expensive. Uh, and so we put them on uh, two of our strongest hives. And that's really what this video is going to be about is how do you use a Sundance pollen trap or how do you use or why do you use a pollen trap? And so let's go. I want to just show you a quick little update as well as how to harvest and really just some tips and tricks on what you should be doing for your pollen traps if that is something that you're looking for. Okay, so first of all, one of the biggest things that you want to do if you are going to use a pollen trap is put it on a strong hive. I cannot stress this enough. If it is not a strong hive, you probably will not get a really good amount of pollen being brought in uh, because they need to be able to have excess. They are bringing in pollen for two reasons. A, to feed the new bees coming in uh, that, that are being bred and grown. Uh, but then also to be used as food. And so if you're stealing their food, well, you know what's gonna happen. They're not gonna do so well. So that's why you really wanna pick a hive that's very, very strong. Now, right here below beside me is one of our uh, stronger hives, um, even though it is actually only too deep. Um, I'm kinda using this as a resource hive this year. I've been using it to build out comb, uh, and now I'm using it to collect pollen from it. And so, on this hive, as you'll see, uh, there is a ton of activity coming in at the entrance. Not only that, but up here on the top box, uh, I also actually even have a hole to get in. So this is kind of an experiment for me. So if we sit here and we watch this for a minute, uh, we will actually see bees coming in here with pollen on their legs as well. And so I am collecting pollen at the bottom but they're still bringing it in and able to bypass that and get in enough. So you're thinking, well, wait a minute, aren't you supposed to be collecting pollen down here, but you're letting them just get in here for free? Well, yeah, that's really what I'm doing. I wanna help this hive go and I wanna be able to split it. They're doing so great this year. So there's a reason I did this way and it's a kind of a test, but really they're doing great. So. I'm going to take, in, ex, in essence, their extra pollen. And so, look at that. I mean, this is just a ton of bees coming in. But the proof is in the pudding, folks. So, Sundance Pollen Trap is a back side. Uh, and I cleaned this out, not last night, but the night before that. And so they had all day yesterday, and it is early in the morning. And as you can tell, this thing is very not completely full but very full of fresh goldenrod sunflower uh, and other plants pollen so we're going to close that back up for a second because that's just what i want to show you what to do now i do have pollen traps on two of my hives and so we're going to come over here to the second hive which is a little bit different. Uh, first and foremost, this hive gets a little bit more sun than all of my other hives do uh, because of where it's at uh, in its earliest. I mean, in relation to the other ones, not far, but this allows them to kind of wake up a little bit earlier. So we're going to just look here at the base again. Once again, you're gonna see plenty of activity. Now, the sun is shining. It is a beautiful day. It is mid, uh, well, low 70s right now, and so, once again, we're just gonna check the trap. Now, for some reason on this one, I get 
quite a bit of girls back here. But so we're going to open this up once again. And now there's not as much in this one as there is in the other hive, but that's still quite a bit. Okay. And I'm really happy with that because remember, you're only taking excess. The biggest thing of all of this, A, strong hive. B, only take excess because if you're going to take too much, you're going to hurt your hive. Now, what do you do with the pollen once I'm done? Now I take it from here. I'm going to dump it down onto a wax paper, just as I did in the other video. Uh, I could show you that, but I'm just literally taking pollen out and dumping it down. And then you put it in a freezer safe container. Uh, I tend to use a BPA plastic, uh, BPA free plastic container. And this allows me to freeze it, but not get any uh, chemicals in there or anything. And then that process, not only does it freeze it and kills any parasites that might be on any of the pollen or anything, but it also will kill any of the extra bee parts or anything that's in there. I do check it, there's no actual bees in there, but sometimes you might get some parts. And then from there, I lay it out after two days in the freezer, uh, then I lay it out and I kind of pick through it to check and see if there's any pieces and parts that need to come out. And then from there, then I bottle it up for, for people to consume. So that's really it on what to do with a Sundance pollen trap. Uh, now there are other ones out there. Now you can do a top mount. I have personally not used that. So I am not going to give this as a, in essence, a review or tutorial on how to use a pollen trap, but some other little things that you want to remember. I talked about the two biggest main things, a taking and putting it on your best hives, B using it as excess only. Just as you do as a beekeeper only taking honey as an excess, pollen has just as much access that capabilities that you're gonna to need to do. And then a little bit more past there. So uh, you only put it on those hives, but then don't run it all year long. This is my opinion. My opinion is only my opinion. Now, something that I actually saw the other day on a Facebook group was if you're using a pollen trap, should you also be feeding them or leaving them on all year long? Now, personally, I do not leave my pollen traps on all year long. I only put them on really in the spring and then right in the, right at, well, it's not fall yet, but it is the turn of when all the goldenrod is starting, sunflowers are going, things like that, where there is extra, extra, extra pollen coming in not during a dearth period. I do not recommend using a pollen trap during a dearth. You're gonna have even probably more problems than it is. Because remember, inside a pollen trap, they have to go up a different way to get into the hive. They work harder. It's probably not worth it. Save your hive, save the extra work, and just do it that way. Uh, one of the other things that I saw was, do you feed during this time? Now, you can feed if you want. How do you feed with a pollen trap on the bottom? You don't feed on the bottom. Use a top mount feeder or even use a in-frame feeder. Um, I use a combination of both, depending on the hive, depending on my size. Uh, I tend to like the frame feeders because they're inside the hive extra. It's easier for the bees to do less and less work. So that's one of the reasons I use those, but I also have the top float feeders, use them as well. So. That's kind of it. If you've got any other questions or comments on how to use a pollen trap, just comment below, uh, send a message as well. Um, I will try to get back to it. I'm, 
I'm unemployed at the moment, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to share a little bit more about what's going on and how things are, are working and my trials and tribulations with beekeeping. Uh, remember, this is what I do. This is not a how-to specifically for you, my area. I am in Ohio. I am right off Lake Erie in essence. But what might work for me might not work for you. Make sure you're doing what works for you. But thank you. Uh, from our hidden acre to you, get out there, beekeep, let's have some fun. <laughs>